Welcome back to another Let's Play. My name is Creepy Nuts. I am going to play episode four. Uh, okay. It looks like everything's good. Alright, um... Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with? Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Looks nice, doesn't it? Beside what's happening on the beach. Oh, look, it's a lighthouse again. It's 
weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. You're moving your head. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. It's a muscle. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. I'm gonna pretend I'm, uh, I'm gonna say what missing girl because in this universe, uh, if we never hopped into it, Max would have probably, you know, say this. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high-tech layer. Feels like a high-tech cell. 
But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <coughs> oh, can I look around? Okay, cool. I'm not saying shoes are pointless for uh, for her right now, but if I was her, I'd much rather just get like slippers or something. Keep me comfy. That's a serious heat lamp. I I guess that's for like okay. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Well, that's, that's pretty depressing. Or uh, sad. What was that? First aid? No. Biohazard, probably for like needles and stuff. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? Pretty I wish cool. I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they so happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill. <laughs> I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Way off topic, I like that newt or that, like, lizard thing in the back. That, that pink. Yeah. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, huh. no pun intended. Huh. Oh, I get it. Chloe you are Price. such a geek. That's huh. why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. 
See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. That's pretty funny. They're so great. Oh, what's this? Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Max, it... Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I'm guessing she's Miss Blue, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't say. I want to see what this is. Oh, oops. I was just about to click that. That's funny. Um. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to, like, use it. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. I've been noticing a lot. They keep on, like, referencing, like, time travel and... Not time travel, but, like, similar things to it. Max is... So Is that like cool clothing up there again. or something? Blankets? I'm glad you think so. She has a hat. No, wait. What is that purple thing? Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, anyways. Uh, well, what was I trying to look for? Okay, this one's right underneath oh the Oh my god. So I made that mix for her when we were 12. Can we listen to it? We cannot. Okay. Be awesome if we could. Ah, here's the DVD. I wonder if we could. I can't believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? 
I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Oh, I don't care anymore. It would be kind of cool if I can, like, be in one of these whip with, with Chloe. And then we could be, like, pirates again. Yeah. Anyways. Definitely have to take a third job. Gotta get the Murphy because, well, because she's whatever in pain. So, okay, her room used to be right there. So, what's, what is this room? Okay, anyways. Yeah, let's race l electricity. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. That's cool, I guess. Nothing here. I just noticed there's three toothbrushes. You would think they would take the other one out. You know? Because, you know, her bathroom's, you know, in the garage. I choose this one. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. What's another one? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. It says I can search the other one that I just checked. How's it going, time tripper? Funny. Okay, I can. S I, I still have my powers. So we're good. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Is she older? Eh. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Make it like super dramatic. I never heard much about William's brother. Oh, 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 I want to click. I here. never heard much about William's brother. That's great. At least we never had to hide from step douche. Uh, a blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Or is it? Have I been here before? I guess yeah, we stopped no growing worse. up together. Uh, she's taller than me. I I, I guess she, she's yeah she's a little bit taller than Max. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Hmm. 
Time to check you with this. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy. Oh, but thanks not for precise. telling me before Go I went to grab the morphine so easy. about the blue pill. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Wait a minute. Of course my pain just what? keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Why would I need a yes, morphine so injector that I'm even if I'm going to plug it into an I a IV See, uh, bag? I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe oh, Price. so emotional. Wait, hold on, I want to test something. My power is a lie. Okay, it's on the two almost. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, never, never mind. That's that's cool. Actually, it turns back. Before, it didn't look like it was going to turn back. But yeah, she needs a morphine injector, and she was talking about how she can't see the needle. But it doesn't matter if you, you can see the needle or not, because all you're doing is plugging it into an IV, you know? That must be her mighty morphine but, machine. I don't get it. No more bongs for her. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over our Show Katie Babe when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Huh? I mean, Chloe. I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever.
Is she gonna give me her like scarf thing, like her pad? Thank pad you so neck. much. I'm so proud of Green you cloth. for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. Aww. See you around. Sooner than you think. When did the machine start to like beep or something? She's hooked up to that one over there to the left. And it's showing her like, you know, heart or whatever. I'm sorry, William. Do this that much. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever! And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.
Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. Huh. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. What's a who? And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't be... You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just... better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. How do you know that's a wedding? Oh, okay, never mind. She probably looked into it. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Uh. 
Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. The hell did I put it at? Oh, okay, whatever. Video game logic. Wait, hold on, so I'm gonna... Wait. Oh, oh, okay, but well, okay. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Are you serious? <laughs> oh yeah, because you know, you know, crowbar is gonna totally uh, break oh, off six maps, bolts. notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. How do I know those photos of Nathan? Or whatever. Score. That it? Back to Chloe now. Oh. oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I I better move his plank. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Well, I didn't touch the nest, so we're good. Max, you better put that plank back to protect the nest. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. Hey, you wags. Why is this butterfly thing popping, popping up? I don't do anything wrong. I wonder if David is going to the party. Looks like David already booked a room. I feel like it's gonna come up later. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. Are they? I'll be out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. <sighs> Thanks, Chloe. Fun. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Are you gonna open it? No, okay. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it 
A stupid question if I ask how you're doing. Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson. Even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Okay, so she tried killing herself, right? Have a few problems with where she's at. So, you would think that she would be in a psych ward, and usually if you're there f um, for being, like, suicidal, for one, you won't have balloons with string because you could use that to choke yourself. And I also noticed that her, you can't really see it, but you can, you can kind of see it when uh, she greets you. There you go, you can see her from right there. She has a string on her pants. You can totally, you know, take it off the pants and use that as a uh, noose. Um, what's some other things in this room? Okay, you can rip that phone cord out. So I'm pretty sure she's not in the psych ward. But, uh... It'd be kind of cool if they, like made it realistic-ish. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. It is amazing. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let you know, me just, help. You know, I, just I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? The cadence. Of course, Kate. Uh, I the, can't do this um, without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back that, to our... Uh, that bug she has on her shirt. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. If you look it up. That's why I love you, Max. I think it's like... Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. I don't know, there's like a, um... I don't know, it could be a moth, it could be a butterfly, or it could be a cadence, and, uh... There was like a thing going around a, a few years ago. Where it was like... 
Yeah, figure out this puzzle. We're trying to find people to join our or a group or something like that. And they use that same exact image right there. But it was like pixelated. Anyways, it just made me remind me of that. But yeah, this room is very unrealistic to uh to why she's in here. But uh it, they did a nice uh, style style, like the bed looks pretty realistic. Can I look at the bathroom? No, of course not. There'll probably be more stuff in there that she could harm herself with. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be here. Me, me too. I'll Jefferson be back to state. Need, like, you better dance with us at once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Because yeah, you know hipsters existed Gross. back then. You are out of control. Not yet. Just Maybe wait until the rager uh, tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey Daniel, you look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Of course he has a picture of somebody with a fedora on. Uh, don't give up. Don't give up that easy. Just stay away from your sketchbook for a while. You need to keep taking the shot, as Mr. Jefferson says. Stay away from my sketchbook? You don't know me, Max. That's like you staying away from your camera. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. I don't like it how, like, it already has, like, a sentence when it's, like... Hey, Daniel. Like, I mean, for example, it says... Hola, Max. Don't give up. It doesn't say don't give up and stay away from your sketchbook that he likes so much, you know? Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. That makes sense, but not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Hey, Daniel. You look... Hola. 
Daniel, your drawings are your photographs. So draw your photos with your eyes and make the camera your lens pen. Lens pen? Oh, I dig that, Max. That could work for me. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you direct me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? It's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Uh, why is there not an option for saying, yeah, I'm okay, or this or that? Why is it this person that is, like, you know, you haven't talked about this person with her yet? This is way off topic. I, don't know, just I might about. feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive -in. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Can I, like, pretend that I sat on her, like, box or something and crush it? Time to go clean up graffiti from those kids. Good to see you out and about, Max. Thank you. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Oh, I just pushed me, okay. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. She was probably high. Yeah. She had this. No need to go there now. No reason to go now. Why not? Oh, great. Chloe stole money from the Handicap Access Fund. <sighs> We're going to. I don't really see how you're going to make a uh, handicap access for this. Plus, I don't see anybody with handicap. Uh, yes. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Good to see you out and about, Max. You like the sky wants to. That's so ironic that Warren asked me. Talk to you later, Max. That's so ironic. <sighs> Why that Warren asked. Hey Brooke, how I'm here. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed. That's so Okay, just like I have to go. Talk later. What was that? Back. Cut off like, middle Nathan way. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Time to go clean up your feet from those kids. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. They should totally like. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. They're like here, let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Their lip sync is so like unrealistic. It's just like
This game is really good, though. So lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. This one, right? This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Nathan is way into this party. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean, too bad Nathan isn't more like his... Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. Uh. Nathan is way into this party. I want to click next. Too bad Na Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects. Wait. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... It like it was the same gun that went missing in the, the cabinet. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Maybe from the furniture? Okay. Let's find out what you're hiding. I look a oh right yes, on. little phone. You are mine now. I have cool. Now it's open. Because now it's like locked. You're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Nuts. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Look, there's a red, red, and blue uh, case. What are you doing in my dorm? How do you know I was in your dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max! Stop right there, Nathan! Make me ho! <clears throat> Max! I got this! Hell yeah. Get the fuck out of my face! <clears throat> <gasps> you are so fucking dead! <clears throat> Get off me, bro! <clears throat> <clears throat> To stay out of it. He pulled a gun. He th that's like saying that that he's threatening everyone's life with a gun. You know. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max, like yeah. Kate, like me, huh? Feel this, motherfucker. Come on. Stop. 
<laughs> Sorry. Good. Yes, we have to go. Oh yeah, we got another gun. Who's the bitch now? Chloe! That's what he gets for pulling out that on people. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. Didn't, and it did was nobody good. Else hear about this? Can I but scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. Okay. You better. Awesome. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes. Alpha. You are. He walks into the pole. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, the asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count other, on my rewind. Where's other pistols? Seriously. Are. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. 
You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. You, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! That was our old hideout. You shouldn't have hassled us there. Old hideout? What are you, the Goonies? I could <laughs> still fuck you up after what you did. Stay out of my business. Get it? I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass! She was protecting me! You've got a knife and God knows what else! Are you really afraid of Max here? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh, Pompadou is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait. That's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin mm. you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is talking? wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! Why can't we just tell him like why why we need his thing, you know? Oh look, he's wearing freaking German boots from World War II. Oh no! Chloe, I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Powers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for Can we just rewind now? Like, seriously. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry. Wait, hand it to me. I'm sorry. I can rewind. And I can... You know? Jesus. 
Chloe actually yeah. killed Frank. She'll I don't never get that. Why, why can't on all the other like this. paper or whatever episodes? Only I can change. You have an object in your hand and then just rewind, and you still have it. Oh, I can't do it here. Of course not. We have to drag it out. It's annoying. Watches the whole scene over again. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Please watch your mouth. Why can't you just have no shut social up, skills you know? here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. I've already seen this part. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. You mean Lockie, you just kind of like pinched it. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh. Listen. That one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's no. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Right, okay. Frank. When you. That was our old. Old. I just. Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else! Are you Why really can't... afraid of Max here? I okay. can't skip this. Go. We're only... Shit. I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompidou how to be my friend. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is so something about you that is so that? wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late! She's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! <sighs> oh my god! Oh wait, hold on. He's god. not dead. He's yeah. not dead. You actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Ah, oh, this fucking hurts! Ah, oh, it hurts! He's not dead. Chloe! You shot him! I know. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. Now! You're fine! Whatever! Just... just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, alright? I don't know, you might have a gun. Now leave me alone, alright? Just... just get out of my life! Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Maybe you can rub your... 
What's bounce? Your shitty RV carpet on it. There you go. I mean, it, it's a small revolver. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna, like, Shit. you know. This could have gone on? way worse, but Frank might I, be more I'm, dangerous. I'm not gonna rewind. Now. I don't feel bad. He was a defenseless yes, asshole. You can change all that this always if you pulls want. out harmful shit. So that, that's what he gets. So I'm always pulling out a knife because ooh, I'm so defenseless. Or yeah. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I don't see why she feels bad. Doesn't like you stabbed Better her focus the leg. on this board and, and like start tying to, these clues just, together. You know, pull, yeah, you know, Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to... David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I'm just gonna totally just select random... stuff. Those clues are not related. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Middle mouse button to select all. Okay. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I seem to like these. Okay, this is just sad, Max. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see them. I, I must have missed something. I must have missed something, like... Okay, um... I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to stand. That's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Um, now, how do I... Of course Nathan drives an SUV. That's not Overcompensating, as Doesn't usual. A, uh... oh, okay, well this one has a uh, tape thing over it. Hmm. Who does this car S belong to? S S F yep, another car David was tracking. Hmm. Who else was David tracking here? I just want to see what is this one. Why the hell are you following these people? And oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Easy. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Max, I know we can... Roger that. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Uh, just... Nope. Oh. Maybe I should try to... Link other clues together. I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book. This makes no sense, Max. Good. Those clues are not related. Yes! The game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. 
Tell us everything. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Those clues are not related. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. This is pretty fun. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. I just guessed the whole time. Woo. Looks like this isn't the right combination. If Nathan did drug Kate... He must okay. This is just sad, this one Max. Looks too... Damn. I'm playing tic tac toe. I, I must, have... Max. All you have to do is find any. Oh, you're treading water, Good. Otter. Try again. Nope. Maybe I should try to, Max. All you have to do is find any deal. This makes no sense, Max. Max, there's everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. Golden Retriever. Okay. Okay, I look at it. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? The most expensive one is Husky. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Oh my god. I look at it. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Okay, he's the rat. Great. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Okay, so Party supplies, no doubt. One. Max, all you have to do is find any deals between Frank and Nathan this week. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Frank did the two uh, that's the it, right Max. Uh, first minute of this one. Let's start hacking. One, one, one. Okay. It's so easy. Oops, bad code. What? This is right there. It says pin is. Oh, okay. Make sure to change it. Okay. Nine five nine five. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Oh, locked it, okay. Bad code. Oh, 
yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. So we done that one. Done that one. We done that one. We done that one. Uh. What if it's that's zero? I just totally forgot it. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Oh, okay. So, so I got it. Okay. Um. I wonder how we actually have to type it all in. That's fun. Alright, hold on. can't find something to write with, so... Okay, that totally works out. Sorry, the the game didn't tell me I needed to have like a notepad next to me with a pen. Oh, that one's so pixelated. That perfectly works. We got it. We, we finally have it, guys. Or girls.
Think, think. What, what do you mean that's <gasps> Look at this shit again because you did miss something. What do you mean? I, I didn't miss anything. Eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, eight, all right. Oh. That's a freaking nine, okay. Oh, wrong code. Fuck you. Oh, what, am I, what the hell am I and doing? And you made me say that. Hold on. There. Booyah! Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes! Druid. God, is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. What? Uh, okay. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Okay, well, th none of those helped. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Okay, I see. Wait, how much money was that? Damn. That's the fourth, too. Okay, that's the fourth. Oh, okay. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Both clues are not related. Okay, well then don't say it's a Prescott place then. Not much out there. That looks like the one in the trailer. Chloe, oh, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember... Sorry, I'm gonna want to check if I'm actually recording. We're good. Sorry about that. My power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir.
she was on Google Earth. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Oh, if you had a crowbar, you could just crowbar all of these uh, metal pieces off, you know, because, you know, that's realistic. Hey, it's a fish. Entrance was uh, over here because the house is. Famous. Or I think it is. I don't know. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Ah, it was the front door. Kind of. Oh yes, Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. So many haystacks, so many haystacks, so few needles. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Oh yeah. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there about? must be. There's like a barn, and there's like a tracker. I a guess tracker the Prescotts were just born bastards. Old history stuff about ancestors. Of course, they have reasons to come out here. I don't feel like you're reading that stuff. It's not going to do anything. This tractor has but paid its dues. I don't know. Nothing here. Ah, the good old days. That's cool. Oh, okay. It's totally brand new. Why? Scope out the perimeter box. There has to be no super well, you, box. you can't you open this with your bare hands. Okay, yeah, Chloe. I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. 
I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Huh. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Super Max. I dig having you. It's not gonna make it. That uh, looks sturdy enough to stand on. Lots of noise. didn't work at all. Why, why did she already do it? didn't work at all. Do I really have to go down all this again? Ah, it's annoying. still attached and yeah they I can pull it down another platform. Max Giver strikes again.
can check that I'm recording. Okay, I'm recording. Oh, there is a code right there. Okay. I... Oh, it totally made sense. Oh, yes. Like, how are you gonna figure out? I like, thought that only worked in the movies. You don't keep all like, the papers with you. Kind of stupid. Open sesame. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be sitting here for the next two hours trying Snapped to Snapped and ready for the apocalypse. Oh. This must have cost a fortune. Just saying. Come on. I knew that it was it was on that piece of paper with the other numbers, but now what the hell is this? You don't have like a proper inventory in this game. You, you just have a book. This. That's crazy. Can you imagine chilling in this room? Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's... out of it. Maybe... Maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate looks so doped up. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. Oh my no. Gosh. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Can you just like break all this stuff or like disconnect it or something? Photo shoot. So who's using this fancy tripod? Looks like the same ones they have in the the class thing. Oh, let's not run. Let's let's walk. Whoa! This says it all about Nathan. He needs help.
is it? Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look. That's that's gross. Please no. Oh, oh that smell. Rachel. Oh. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. different. What is that? It can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but... Can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something... for prosperity. Well... I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Where 
the hell are you? Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me, no life. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Ha <laughs> ha! I only came to the party because of you. 
I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale plane. I'm taking you to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Hello, bro. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just Pretty hate cool. that scrub. And his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Danny. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um... Uh... That, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish. You're just trying to live your life and all this bullshit. Like all of us. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. With great power comes great bullshit. I don't know. It would be pretty kick-ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia Bay. Well, the night is still young. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Energy drinks. So are our energy drinks. I know somebody has the news. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world. Get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Can, can I just swim there? Don't hey, climb, Max. Max. What are you doing in here? If I get sick now, I can drink more later. Good night, sweet no, prince. Please, girl, already. Chloe yeah, must be around. Like an hour. Leaving this Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. In, I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about... Time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I tried to front like I was. When I saw them together, came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin, but you're a cool, considerate guy and you're gonna find somebody just as cool, minus the drama. 
Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. But you gonna sit there and do whatever. Is there a hole in the wall? Ooh, that's, that's, that's heavy. Not anymore. Hell yeah. Mental? You can't come in. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Yeah, yes, I know Victoria is next on Nathan's. Victoria, you okay? Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. 
I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean. Hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what? I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to... Push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's art. You don't have to play them. Look at me. I got the judge of the contest suspended. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe. But I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were avidon -esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the vortex club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but... He is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her so he's dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint. And I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him, and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time, and I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. She's cool. Maybe there's hope yet for you. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. 
Nathan can't hide anymore. So, the maiden wing is... Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Are you both okay? You look like you're on a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about it. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Thanks. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Uh, yes, I can. You fucking house. Rachel is still dead, and I want you to lose punk ass. Now, me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan trusted Jones.
How did he get there so fast? Okay, well, that was episode four, the dark room. And, uh, it, it was, it was good. So now we just gotta wait until episode five comes out. And right when that comes out, I'm gonna instantly play it. Record it. Upload it. Well, that was fun. Um, thanks for watching. Creepy knots out.